And I, I, I went, and I have to tell you that after a very uh, courteous and very well, you know, very positive reception, uh, and I had taken a, a whole uh, 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 a container of uh, great Afghan uh, uh, pomegranate as a gift that President Karzai sent along with me to President Musharraf, and I dealt with the concerns on India. And I, I, I talk about that in my book in detail. I mean, this is an opportunity for advertising <laughs> as to what he asked on India and what I offered uh, uh, to do for him on India to deal with his concerns. And he shook hands with me. That, you know, this is so clear that a commitment that uh, uh, are making. And also on, he raised the issue of the a dam that Afghans were planning to build on Kuna River that will cut off an ideal. We came to an understanding on that issue as well. And then I said, Mr. President, anything else that bothers you about this new Afghanistan? Because, you know, your friends are now there. We are you, And you, President Bush, thinks so much of you. And, and so you are our friend, too. We want you to get along. And then I said to him, can you do something for me since I don't want to go empty-handed back to Kabul with all the commitment I've made to you? He said, what? I said, Close the Quetta Shura, the, not, uh, uh, and, or give me some uh, Taliban uh, mm -hmm. leaders. And you know what he said? He said, there are no Taliban in Pakistan. <laughs> no Taliban. In, and I went back and forth with him. And I, you know, we, I'm sure the, the minutes of that meeting, the cable from, because our ambassador, Nancy Powell, was uh, with me, as well as uh, some military people, our intel people. So, and I said, persisted that the media even goes to interview these people. And he said, these are all Indian propaganda. If you, uh, if you have something, give me their phone numbers, give me their house address, and then I'll act on it. So this is the problem. If he had said, look, you do this, or the Afghans do this, and I'll do that, uh, that would have, I think, frankly, uh, without exaggerating my role, I could have helped uh, at that time. We were very close with the Afghan government. I personally was very close with the Afghan leadership and, of course, the United States. And we could have done something, but we couldn't get started because there, there was nothing. They said, there's no, no, you're making all this up. Uh, so how could you uh, reach an understanding? Dad, would you like to? No, I think, I think we're, the good news is we're past that point. Yeah. Right? I mean, so you well, probably met ago. with okay. Musharraf. I yeah. probably spent yeah. <laughs> 100 hours uh, with General Kiani, one mm -hmm. of his successors, yeah. who had come from the ISI ranks, became the chief of the yeah. Army staff, and we had very open and candid conversations. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and, and we were past the denial stage right. at that point. But it wasn't enough to get us where we need to be. Yeah. So, so I am sorry, we are actually out of time. There he is. Please, sir, yeah. please, sir. Well, I think they'll be available <laughs> afterwards for conversation. He's a prime minister. But, you cannot no, deny okay. him. Uh, fine, <laughs> fine. <laughs> We're honored. <laughs> if you're happy. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I'm an American citizen. I'm very proud to be an American. And I'm a very openly gay American. Maybe you, your country has problem on that. Uh, I like to ask here. Uh, I like to please ask. I hope the gentleman won't interrupt and behave civilly at civil forums. Thank you. Uh, I like to ask you. Uh, when the Pakistan Army and ISI generals called the U.S. soldiers in Afghanistan chocolate boys, this is their mindset. How can, how can you guys have any talk with that mindset? The Pakistan, we are talking about opportunities from Pakistan after 9-1-1, after the 9-1-1 mastermind is found next door to the West Point, after 2,400 more than 2,400 U.S. soldiers whose blood are on the hands of Pakistan Army and ISI inside Afghanistan. They were killed, tired. Our people, the Baluch people and the Afghan people are treated as ants and flies by the Pakistani generals. And we are talking about opportunity from Pakistan. Please don't do that. Okay. That's it. No, no comment there. Can you give me a Th thank you. Thank you, everyone, for joining us. Um, <laughs> We should, we should applaud Shamaya. Yeah. <laughs> she pulled this I, off. I, I, have <laughs> one, yeah. I have one thing I do want to say. So today, this panel was about talking about the American perspective, which I hope was very obvious to everyone. I think that message was received. 
we will be hosting a series of other conversations that will look more into the Pakistani perspectives, Afghan perspectives, and Indian perspectives. This is an academic institution. It's not a think tank. We're here to educate people and hear different perspectives and resolve conflict, not produce it. So this is, <laughs> this is just the beginning. And I appreciate everyone speaking up on behalf of their own views and interests. That's what we want here. So the, that was very much welcome. And please Thank come you. again. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Nice job. Good job.